So we're at the stand of Ijada, a UAE-based uh, security and consultancy company. And in fact, Ijada won an award at Intersec Awards for the most innovative product. It was, this is the uh, security robot. Uh, and I'm with uh, Robert Kura, the senior manager of Akan Consultancy, a part of Ijada. Robert, um, thanks for uh, being on the show with us today. Uh, first of all, the security robot. Um, tell us about this product and, and uh, what was the idea of uh, creating the security robot? Well, you know, Dubai is uh, uh, the number one for innovation on, on the planet, actually. So we we sort of are, are looking at ways that we can deliver our uh, services more efficiently and more smart. We've incorporated robots into the business. These arrived sort of probably in Q3 last year. Um, we've, we've done a, a number of testing around various sites in Dubai and they will be being deployed in Dubai Design District in the, the, the coming weeks. Nice, and, and how many will be deployed in Dubai, Dubai we'll Design District? two of them in tandem. The battery life is approximately 12 hours, so while they're doing their patrols, one of them will be on the, if you see the charging point here, you know, the, the autonomous charging station, while the other one's still patrolling. Um, so there'll be a continuous uh, cycle of the, the robots over a 24-hour period. And so obviously it's got the CCTV elements here, the, the camera. Yeah. Uh, well, how do you program it? How do you, what do you sort of make it look out for when it, when it comes to... Well, what, uh, there's an initial setup process which involves setting all the, the preset tours. Uh, you can set up multiple preset tours. Uh, the robot will follow those uh, randomly if you want or it'll follow them in a specific sequence. There's uh, on this model here, we've got the panoramic cameras, um, we've got the PTZ camera, um, and there's analytics built in as well for um, facial recognition or if there's any sort of altercations, uh, fires, whatever, you know, that we can detect all that and send it back to the command and control center mm -hmm. for the appropriate action to be taken. One of the things I asked at Intersec Awards when you actually won this was, yeah. is this one day going to replace manpower in terms of security guards i don't believe we could ever do that you know we always need that human interaction but certainly you know in these hot temperatures where you need the you know you've got sort of very large perimeter areas you know why not have the robots patrolling instead of like it's too hot in it for for humans to be walking about in these temperatures how long did it take from concept to market to actually develop this product it's it's for us you know these have been they have been deployed in other countries so this is a first for dubai um for us it's taken about sort of six months to get things set up you know so it's it's with just a a, a thing that i do need to mention is that we have a local authority approval here in dubai from uh, sarah um so that is that means we're completely legal. You know, there, there's, we, we, we can deploy these as long as the client accepts them, we can deploy them legally in Dubai. Are you able to divulge on the cost? Uh, at this moment, it depends on no, like quantity specific requirements. So it, 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 it sort of it can, varies massively. But what we actually do do is we can do a leasing arrangement. Um, so where we would uh, basically deploy the robots, manage the robots, maintain the robots, mm -hmm. Right, or we can actually sell you them uh, and train up your own internal team. So not, that, that's the arrangements we're looking at. It'd be, not, it'd be nice to see these uh, patrolling around Dubai Expo in a few yeah, months time, wouldn't it? That will be. That's probably the. Yeah, that will probably be the next sort of expo we're at. Yeah. Aside from that, though, what are your future plans for this uh, for this robot? In, in terms of you've, you've mentioned that, of course, it's going to be in Dubai Design District. Uh, what other plans do you have for it? Well, we would hope, you know, we are, you no know, like, we, we do provide services in key buildings around Dubai, you know, like, you know, some of the biggest buildings in this town, we are the security provider. So we've been discussions, we've been in discussions with the directors of those estates, and we will be looking to deploy in there as well. International expansion? Um... Uh, yeah, you know, like, you know, we'll, we'll have to set targets and goals, you know, so... Gotta be ambitious, you know, right? Probably KSA is the next sort of bit. And what's the interest been like at Intersec 2020 so far? Massive. You know, it, as I say, this is a smart city solution. You know, it's, it's integrating with... It's integrating with smart software solutions. This fits in, you know, so it's, it's obviously everybody's moving smart. Security robots is your thing, you know? <laughs> bling, bling. Thank you very much for your time. No problem, no problem. Thank you.